All right, I'm absolutely surprised by how much I'm enjoying the Blue Cruise on this. So this video is gonna be about how to use Blue Cruise, the buttons, what to do with it. We've had issues with the Blue Cruise in the past on the Lightning. I had one issue with it one time with the last trimmer we had, it was a 2024. But for 2025, I'm having an absolute blast and surprise, loving the Blue Cruise. So let's cover how it works, when are you gonna use it, why you should use it. So stay tuned, let's put the pedal to the metal. to this video about Blue Cruise. This is how you use Ford's essentially self-driving system. Now it works on highways, so the main roads, but it works pretty darn well. So to put it, make it functional, you just have to turn the cruise control on and make sure that your adaptive cruise control is on in the settings, unless someone's turned it off on you, because let's say you buy a used Ford. Yeah, maybe someone has turned it off on you. So all you need to do is have the adaptive cruise set control on. Normally it's already gonna be on, so you need to turn cruise control on. Then once it's ready, it's gonna say hands-free. So if you look at the dash here, you're gonna get two things. You're gonna get a little hands-free logo on some models. Maybe you'll just get the little blue car and steering wheel at the bottom. Well, that means you're now in hands-free mode. And as long as you continue to look at the road, which does get picked up by a sensor, depending on the model. Some models, it's above the steering wheel. Other models, it's gonna be over here. Now you have a sensor to make sure you continue to look at the road so that everything's illegal and you're ready to react. So for legal reasons, you gotta look at the road. You can occasionally look away for a short moment, but now you can drive hands-free and it makes driving through, whether you're driving through traffic or at high speed on the highway, it's a lot safer because we all know high speed on the highway, you might get into a conversation with your wife or try to talk to your child or children in the back. And there's that danger that the sudden slowdown, you're gonna miss it. Or the person, if you're in a high speed zone, maybe someone's going half the speed limit on the highway, well, you won't just ram into them. The system's gonna slow down. And what's really neat is in traffic, it'll slow down even all the way to a stop, as we're about to do now. And actually that, speed back up and I've got I've gotten feedback from people who have both the blue cruise and the system from Tesla now the system from Tesla is very interesting because it can do door-to-door -door driving so not just on the highways those big high-speed routes can also do it uh, so it does it in a broader area, but it doesn't work as well. Ford system had met a lot of feedback people from people who own both Ford and the Tesla saying Ford system on the highways, at least on the highways, is much better. Uh, but the Ford system won't do the door to door. So from your house onto the highway, then back to your destination, such as work. But this is making my ride home from the airport after being up at 4 a.m and not getting very much sleep the last few days, it's making it a lot more enjoyable, stress, essentially stress-free, and all I need to do is keep my eyes open. So great system, hope you get to try it out sometime soon. Let me know in the comment section if you've used either Blue Cruise or Tesla's system, and if you've used both, well, make sure you drop a comment as well. Would love to hear your feedback. Maybe you've preferred the system in Tesla. If you've tried both, let us know. I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. I'm always here to try to help to give the lowdown. And part of the lowdown means the pros and the cons. And I can tell you across many, many customers, I'm making this video because, well, across many, many customers and buyers and friends, they haven't had any issues at all with Blue Cruise. And we had an issue with our Blue Cruise on the Lightning. It's one of the main reasons I put it up for sale, but it did get fixed before the individual took delivery. But it was one of those really rare instances where it just needed the front camera changed. So you do have to have a vehicle that's equipped, of course, with the front camera and the sensors in the front. But if you do, depending on the model, over at Lincoln, you'll have four years of Blue Cruise for free. Other models, it can be three months or a year. But if you've fallen in love with Blue Cruise, well, then eventually you're going to have a monthly payment to make. But if you don't, then you don't make the monthly payment with Blue Cruise, well then you still have all the technology aids to help you 
drive through traffic. It's just you need to keep your thumb or hand on the steering wheel or to be completely legal, really two hands on the steering wheel. However, depending what area you're in. However, however the vehicle is still going to do lane centering and it's still going to slow down, even stop and then take off again. So great system. I'm loving it. Until next time, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. Marie is behind the camera and our daughter's in the back. So if you want to support this small family business, it would be truly appreciated. Just hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video with someone. That really helps the channel grow. Bigger community means more knowledge, and more knowledge means more power. Talking about power, wish you all more cars and more power. Godspeed, everyone. Take care.